Par five though. All right. So if you guys are wondering why I'm out on the golf course on a day that we would have a game, um, I got placed on what's called the development list and I'm going back to Arizona where our spring training complex is. And basically the reason behind that is I need to get my velocity up and we're going to work on that in a more controlled setting as opposed to pitching in games. So I'm basically driving cross country, um, playing some golf along my way because, you know, sitting in a car for 10 hours is not fun. So it gives me an excuse to get outside and walk around and kind of loosen up my body, body. <laughs> and taking some beautiful scenery as we have here. Um, I mean, this is probably one of the most cool golf courses I'll ever play in my life. So especially right now as the sun's setting, you can kind of just see it's hitting all the mountains pretty crazy. We are out at the Rocky Mountains National Park right now. As you can see, it is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna go play some golf at one of the most scenic courses in America. Um, I'm gonna take the camera. My ears are popping like crazy. I think we're at like 8,000 elevation right now, so the ball's gonna be absolutely flying. Um, absolutely beautiful scenery though. I mean, look at that hill over there. It's gonna be fun. So, excited. So, looking up this course, um, they get like elk that come onto it. It's pretty, pretty wild, um, the wildlife that is out here. So, I'm really looking forward to hopefully seeing some cool things. Um, and just enjoying the scenery. So, should be, should be pretty cool. See, I think we'll probably have like 170 in, so it's gonna take a good approach shot, but um, we'll see what we can do. Uh, I got paired up with a random person, but he actually watched me play, I guess, because one of his buddies played at DBU, Dallas Baptist, and I guess he recognized my name from the, the NCAA regionals, basically, so pretty trippy stuff, but uh, here we are. We just tucked one nice up there. Let's go see how it looks. Put it all yeah, hit, hit right here. Tight. All right, we got 150. All right, after a brief hiatus, <laughs> we are back uh, on hole 14, I believe. Played pretty decent on the start of the back nine, pretty slow though, just enjoying the views. Uh, well, I'm gonna hit a nine iron, it's into the wind, par three with like two bunkers right in the front, so we'll see how this goes. Because we are pin high for our birdie look here. There we are. All right, we hit a power cut. I think we're gonna be in the left side of the fairway. Sun is peeking through the trees. It's absolutely gorgeous here, last two holes. Here we go.
finished up the round there with a triple bogey on brand, but gonna enjoy these Colorado sunsets as I head out of here. Um, probably gonna go rip some plows against a gas station while it's kind of what I've been doing to keep my arm in shape on this drive. It's, been, it's gonna be about three days. I haven't filmed anything until today though, so probably start filming the rest of this stuff now that I brought the camera out, so. All right, last day of the road trip here. I'm in Monta Vista, Colorado, some random town. Just spilled some apple juice on my car, set it in a cup up there, started driving. One more day. Stopped by a little mountain creek. We're like 10,000 feet. I can just see a ton of trout in the water. I'll show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see, but there are big trout literally everywhere in this little stream right now and it's it's nutty like there's a huge trout right there um this is gonna be sick <laughs> oh the trout came away victorious couldn't catch anything i think fly fishing would have been the move but i don't know how to do that yet Wild trout are really hard to catch. They're really smart and they basically like any spinner baits they kind of weren't going for. I had like one bite, but it might've just been a baby. Um, so beautiful out here. That water was amazingly refreshing. I'm gonna get back on the drive now. We found our plow wall here. It's a uh, New Mexico title. <laughs> 